Well, um, last time I was looking for a hidden wall, potentially. The other thing about this place, though, is the hidden walls have been pretty obvious. Also, they wouldn't put it in a boss room. Because then that would be kind of awkward, wouldn't it? If you discovered it during the boss fight. Yeah, okay. But I do want to leave in this direction because I want to pop into the other boss room real quick. It's too bad that that's definitely death. These really felt fairly connected. Wait, this is the other place, right? Yeah, and it has this, like, uppity-uppity place. It's kind of weird to think that I couldn't go up there. Then again, there's not an item to tempt me to go up there, either. But once again, same logic applies. It'd be strange to put a hidden door in a boss room. So what happens if you discover that hidden door? Right? Okay, I guess I won't pursue that. Um... Um... I guess... Just for fun... Well, no, I don't want to run back through there. Uh, I'm going to do this, and then I'll do this for fun. Glove wart. It's like foxgloves mixed with St. John's wort? Or is glove wort a real thing? I need 6,000. These are 2,000 each, which should be perfect, right? Well, this is the theme currently. Oh, but it's not making my staff go good anymore. Maybe I'll hold off for the moment. just as good. Do you kind of want more of this? That'll do. Alright, well I was gonna experiment with this new thing down here, but I, maybe I'll just do it out here. Right, this is in the... the lake. So many skulls in this world. I suppose that would happen. What would I suppose? Never mind. Kind of am curious. I hate that it, did, it conceals my presence. Okay, first of all, completely conceals my presence while crouching at a distance is the most bullshit thing I've ever heard. Second of all, it doesn't even make me look invisible. Then how do I know if it's working or not? How do I know when it stopped working? Apparently it stopped working. How ridiculous. You can fuck off with that. What a useless thing.
Oh, I should probably, uh, go reallocate my flasks, huh? I really appreciate you guys being the nice kind of flower, not the mean ones from the blue swamp. Golden Roa. A Roa fruit tinted with gold, easily found near the Erd tree. It's strange to me that this stuff over here is so... I would have expected that closer to the Erd tree I would feel underleveled. But I suppose close to the Erd tree is different from in the capital, which will presumably be quite difficult. Beautiful shallow lake. I quite like the color. These mountain walls are so smooth. That's the most unrealistic part of this, is how these rock formations are so strange. To me, anyways. Nice and butterflies in the wild. How cute. What you make with golden roa? Golden roa raisins? I mean, golden raisins are a thing, right? Ooh, perfumers. I've been so curious about perfumers this whole time. I guess you're mean to me. I don't know why I thought maybe you'd be nicer. Your mask is epic. I'm starting to think of... I'm starting to get a stronger concept of Derby's personality um, beyond just the sort of grubby, you know, crust punk rapscallion that I already knew her to be. Um, I'm starting to think of her in terms of the gameplay style that I've chosen. God, this is not where I was. I hate how this works. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, and I should get this statue while I'm at it. Um, and specifically thinking in contrast of the other character I might have to make in order to play this game another way. Um, an incantations focused character who goes the proper path. Ah, interesting. You know? Um, I'm thinking that character might end up being her sister.
Well, that went right through you. Oh, you're fast. Holy shit. Damn. Okay, three of them. Holy shit. Ah. Woman killer robe, long gloves, and boots. Dude! That's not what I was looking for. You better have that mask hidden up in this spot. Although I don't know how why it would be since you were wearing it. Perfume bottle. Finally, some knowledge about perfume. Humor's cookbook. This is a lovely place you have here. I'm so sorry to have had to destroy it. I wish this table could have remained intact. So yeah, I'm starting to conceive this other player, this other player character, I'm thinking of it being her sister. And I'm thinking of it being sort of a... a stern, always serious... like... goth sister who does things the right way, but has like a creepy aesthetic nonetheless. And then this is like... Derby is like the... impulsive party animal counterpart. I saw another item over here, didn't I? Oh boy. Right. Did in fact unequip unequip that. I should probably use this, huh? I don't know why I haven't done that yet. If you can just chill out with the poison for a second. do that. This one doesn't seem to like to use magic. I 
meant to do something else, but okay. Why doesn't this one use magic? It's weird. Interesting reward for all of that. Kind of trying to check the periphery first, you know? Alright. Into pit one. Alright. Talisman, I can't... No, I can use talismans. And there's stored ware. Oh, here they are. <laughs> I passed over them. A talisman depicting a set of perfume bottles raises potency of perfume items. There are gardens known only to the perfumers. Whether hidden on the fringes of the highlands or obscured by shadows inside caves, the flowers blossom in secret, waiting to impart their scent. Alright, well I don't know much about perfume items, but... Uh, well, let's uh, check the description first. A record of crafting techniques left by a military perfumer contains martial techniques beyond the repertoire of an ordinary physician. Acquire the knowledge to craft the following spark aromatic and uplifting aromatic. I had another cookbook that had that same pattern on it, did I not? Oh, perhaps it was a spell book. Did I have a perfumer's spell book? I must have. That I gave away. This was around the time I built around it, now flooded. Two high roads and end their journeys here. The majority of Lyurnia, known for its vast forests and ever-present fog, is sinking into a lake. The eastern coast is home to a high road running north and south. The majority of Lyurnia, blah, blah, blah. The western coast has always been closely associated with Carrion royalty. The Demesme. Is that Domain? The Domain of Limgrave? The Pale Lands. Alright, sorry. Got distracted for a moment. Probably should have read those aloud, but I wasn't in the mood. I needed to skim. This was up here, I explored over there. I still don't know much about perfumery. Oh, but I can check my item crafting for the perfumery items, which probably look like little potion bottles, yeah. Art of the perfumers who fought in the shattering, craftable with a perfume bottle, which I don't have, I don't think, uses, oh wait, no, I did get a lot of those. Uses FP to raise the attack power of the user and nearby allies while also reducing the damage from one incoming attack by half. This aromatic has an extremely potent morale-raising effect that makes those accustomed to its fearless 
uh, to it fearless in the face of death, it was this influence that made the perfumers exceptional commanders. Art of the perfumers who fought in the Shattering, craftable for the perfume bottle, uses FP to broadly scatter sparks in a wide arc straight ahead. Though fire was prohibited to those who served the Erd Tree, this rule was forgotten as the war drew ever on. That makes sense. Okay. Um, and I presume it'll count as a crafting item. These perfume bottles I got? Maybe not. Glass bottles used by perfumers used to seal various scent compounds, essential vessel for crafting perfume items. The art of perfuming was once jealously guarded in the capital, but after the perfumers were drafted into service during the Shattering, the art became widely practiced throughout the lands between. It's interesting they're key items. Does that mean that, like the jars, they restore upon use? Although it's not quite so well explained. Oh, it hits the beam from the guy. I was like, I didn't put a marker there. Well, very sad that that guy's awesome helmet wasn't in here. Because he was really cool with that thing. Oh yeah, but let's check the clothes, too. We didn't get a helmet. That's the whole point of my laments. Robe worn by the omen killers, butchers of twisted conscience. Its thick apron is worn in remembrance of Rollo, or Rollo the progenitor of the omen killers and perfumer of antiquity. Some nasty skin. It's not terrible. It's a little bulky for this character, though. Um... Omen Killer long gloves. Long stiff leather gloves worn by Omen Killers. Definitely not. Omen Killer boots. Stiff leather boots worn by the Omen Killers. Yeah, I definitely won't even be putting those on. Um, I ain't no fool and I don't take what I don't want for I have got some other clothes. Some other clothes I'll probably wear until the end. Through thick and thin, they will always be my friend. Do, 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 do. I don't want to say that I've been. Sorry, I'm gonna stop. Horrible lyrics, really. Give myself, giving myself 26 minutes to do. A catacomb is not necessarily the smartest thing in the world. Oh. A double key. Oh. Unsightly. That is a very nice word. I like that word. Something nasty sounding. Probably just one of those big guys, right? Oh no, it's the little winged guys. You did like no damage to me. Was that a headbutt that I didn't block? Look at that damage. Why is y'all's headbutt so weak? I'm gonna just light things up around here. Seriously, why am I so over leveled for this place? It's crazy. 
Oh, big boy. I was lucky. He does know I'm here, doesn't he? I was not actually sure for a moment. What a merciful break this is. I'm so tired of imp catacombs, you know? Level 5, I, I, that might be what I needed to upgrade, um... Uh... Hughes. but I don't think that's actually safe dropping distance. God damn it. Oh, it's a dog. Never thought I'd be happy to see a dog, but I thought you were an imp and I was terribly frightened. Misbegotten's. I'd love one of your pelts to wear. Look for traps on the floor. Where's the one that went around this corner? drop down because this probably leads to it I thought there was another guy
Are you supposed to be some sort of variety of misbegotten? Damn, this is where this is? There's no shortcut? I mean, hot damn, that's way far down. Isn't that way far down? Okay, did I get all the ones down here? I don't hear anymore. Cleaver, that's fun. Probably can't lift it. Winged misbegotten ashes. Oh hell yeah. Ghost glove work five. Oh, that's probably what I need to upgrade. Hughes, actually. I also love these guys telegraph their being here so loudly. Still don't understand what those do. Okay, well, unless this place hides secrets, I guess that's about that. I actually think I want to drop down here. Only one flask of cerulean tears left, but six flasks of crimson tears. Which is the main thing I need. It's a shame about the particular level of cerulean of FP that I have. 10,000? I mean, I can't really worry about that at this point, huh? I can't... problem is I can't summon Hughes with that. But if I... But if I do summon Hughes, it'll run me out of my last heal. I'm fucked. So fucked. feels pretty gnarly. I mean, I'll try. That feels pretty gnarly. Definitely a Hughes type situation, or maybe not. Um, I suppose it could be a Crystallian type situation. But Hughes and I teamed up pretty good on the other big lion guy like that. Um, let's just... Ooh, with that 10,000, I wish I had that 10,000 all of a sudden. Um, matter of fact...
I am going to get these 10,000 if I can. Let's see what I can do. I'm worried that I won't be able to remember the way exactly, but. Oh, fuck. Well. Well, I survived somehow. Okay, well, that's good news, I guess. It's waste to heal, but. I'll still try, you know? Uh, let's see. Why can I not? Why does the shield have an X on it? Oh, she's... She's tiny. Do you not understand why my shield has an X on it? an X on it all of a sudden. It's so weird. Well, I was gonna... Wow, he just noped out of here immediately. I was going to try and die there and then use the 10,000 to go level up um, Hughes for this fight, but never mind, I guess. Uh, wow. Huh. Thought I felt something crawling on me for a second. Okay. <clears throat> that went surprisingly well. Uh, Okay, it must have been some sort of weird curse that she put on me. Or wait. Oh. Huh. My strength is... <laughs> wow. Um, okay. I didn't realize that that actually changed my levels, and that explains something that was a mystery to me a very long time ago, which was that I was planning on leveling up once in order to be able to carry my stick, and then I was confused because suddenly I was able to carry it one day, even though I had don't, didn't, hadn't remembered leveling up. Yeah, well, it took me a long time to realize, but it's because of the source of actually raising my levels, because attributes means levels. I'm such a dumbass. I'm so sorry. Um, alright. Well, that's all I want to do here, I guess. Thank you, Hughes, for another amazing adventure. Probably should go and level up Hughes at this point. That adds a whole five to all my attributes? It's crazy. I mean, I can't take that thing off anymore. That's how I'm using my shield. I didn't even realize that that was a problem. This is unsightly catacombs. Should probably get a map for that place pretty soon, too. Maybe I'll have enough time tonight to do that.
place always looks so empty when I first arrive. Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? I need to warn you about something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even imagine. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the grafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. I can hear it from across the howling. You should keep your distance. I know you sh Lots of pe people telling me not to go places. Um, wasn't there a weapon I wanted to make better? This, I guess. That would probably make sense. Well, I took you no man today. Out your own. As well, right? I mean, I can't very well leave it all alone. I just realized just, just now that a white wall isn't something cut off. It just means I need to do this and I never saw this before. Even though at this point I see a white wall and I know that it means that these guys are here. So I could have done this a while ago. Like all the way back when I first saw it. Crepuses, black key, crossbow. Assassin's Prayer Book. Well, that was two stone sword keys for something that I can't really use this playthrough, but I don't know what else I would have done. Alright. Prayer Book for Round Table Holds Assassins can be given to a learned cleric to gain access to the following incantations, Assassin's Approach and Darkness, both of which sound freaking awesome, and I wish I had gone into incantations instead of sorceries <laughs> at this point. Uh, it was a bow. Black crossbow featuring a long stock used for sniping. It has a very long range. Weapon of Krapus, who served the two fingers from the shadows of the round table as the head confessor. These are new. Carved great arrows made together with the great with the Erd Tree Great Bow. Deals holy damage. Imbued with an oath sworn incantation, which boosts the attack and defense of the archer and their nearby allies. 
Bolts used in Krapus' black key crossbow, an assassin's tool of exquisite craftsmanship, the intricate spiral tip bores deep, injecting scarlet rot far into the flesh of its target. Nice. Can't slash in here. I'm sorry, babe, but I mean, again after all. Dude, you're alive! I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? What's wrong with you? Has he been here this whole time? The misshapen corpse under Stormvale. That is a sacred relic of the Black Knives plot, as that famed night of assassination is known. It happened during the Golden Age of the Erd Tree, long before the shattering of the Elden Ring. Someone stole a fragment of the Rune of Death from Maleketh, the Black Blade, and on a bitter night, murdered Godwin the Golden. That was the first recorded death of a demigod in all history, and it became the catalyst. Soon, the Elden Ring was smashed, and thus sprang forth the war known as the Shattering. I once wished to become a scholar, you see. I've spent many an hour scouring the archives for knowledge of that fateful plot. The world has grown crooked, and if you intend to put it to rights, you'd better understand what happened to make it this way. Hmm? And that thing is to blame for the shape I'm in now. I urge the utmost caution. Don't disturb the corpse more than necessary. Are you under a blanket, or are you stuck inside of a giant wasp's nest? Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Hmm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on. Take it. Plus eight. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. I do still feel like I missed some sort of extra scene with him. He seems to act like I understand that and how he is incapacitated. Ah, so you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time. Have I? Bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. D was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. I don't remember who D is. I'm trying to look it up right now, but all I'm seeing is... His quest line. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, is D the guy who was in the round table hold? My time is up, by the way. I do have to stop. I think he's under a blanket. Well, he's only gotten hotter, if you ask me. Oh, still. No, not really. Uh, I do have. Is this D? Ah, oh, hello there. This is D. Okay. Are you acquainted with a man named Roger? You know, the piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years, stout of heart and clear was? of mind. Was? Is he dead now? No more, though. You see him now. Ravaged, ravaged by, by thorns, thorns. Muttering and rambling. Like he's half dead already. I can't stomach to watch. Take well the lesson, friend. That's how you end up. When seduced by those who live in death, when grace is sullied, it rots people from the inside, breaks them. So, he's got the problem that Stormvale Castle itself has then. Alright, well, gotta end there, gotta get ready for bed and tomorrow. Some other time, y'all. Bye-bye.